Beverly Namnon had surgery for lung cancer one year ago, but recently she developed a painful, persistent cough. This is um, the location of your tumor that we've been talking about. Um, it's in green. The cough was being triggered by another cancer that's in a tissue mass in between the two lungs. And so that's why I'm here for radiation and chemotherapy. Radiation is a powerful weapon in the fight against many cancers, but until now, patients like Beverly were often ineligible for radiation. Before, we would consider these patients oftentimes metastatic. Um, that is, they um, have a primary tumor and now they have a spread. And the only treatment options for them often are touch chemotherapy alone because radiation at the standard doses would not cure them and also would delay their chemotherapy. Now, doctors at UCLA have new technology, a system called the Novalis TX, that allows the medical team, including radiation physicists and therapists, to shape multiple beams of radiation that are more accurate and more powerful than ever before, zeroing in on primary and smaller metastatic tumors without harming normal tissue. Beverly's tumor is very close to her spine and heart. The focused beam of radiation, as I refer, as, as I refer to, is um, just focused to this tumor, uh, which are less than oftentimes less than five centimeter, and we give instead of 30 treatments, three to five treatments, a high dose of radiation per treatment, um, and the control rates are in excess of 70 to 80 percent, being able to eradicate those tumors at those sites. Move around mm -hmm. to adjust you based on those images. Okay. The Novalis TX system allows the team to constantly review and adjust their strategy in real time. Kendra, we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment. We're going to take one more set of films. With new onboard imaging, x-rays and CAT scans. But this piece of equipment has all the bells and whistles so that um, at any point if there's uh, uncertainties about positioning of the patient or the tumor, we can take an image of some sort, a CT scan or uh, exact track image, which is our x-ray images, and we know exactly where the tumor is and where the patient's normal organs that we want to avoid are. And the procedure is easier on the patient too. Well, this machine can make adjustment other than making a table move left to right, up and down, superior and inferior. It can also do this pitch and yaw makes it count for rotational changes. Oh, it's pretty, um, oh, what's the word? Like Star Wars. It's just, that's what it reminded me of when I went in there. Being on that hard surface, it's hard for me to move and change and adjust sometimes, but this table will do more for the patient, which I think is going to be very helpful especially when people are getting to where they don't feel so good. Beverly is hopeful that this latest technology will help eradicate her recurrent tumor. Her doctors at UCLA say that for Beverly and other cancer patients, many previously untreatable, there is more reason for optimism than ever before. We are, I think, in the next 10 years, be changing the paradigm of how we treat uh, metastatic cancer or just cancer primaries that we weren't able to treat with radiation. I think now we are able to really think of cancer as some of the cancer as chronic diseases where we may not be able to cure them but we're able to spot treat them with radiation, spot treat them with targeted therapy, with chemotherapy and uh, prolong their survival without causing too much uh, detriment to their quality of life. It's just been uh, just a miracle. We've made a lot of headway and I'm in the best care that I could possibly be in. My hopes are that I get through this as quickly as possible and that I go into remission as quickly as possible and stay there. So that's my goal.